What's up, Poke Fam? Poke Adult here. Thanks so much for swinging by and checking out the video. Uh, if it's your first time here, thanks so much for giving me a shot. I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, thanks so much for your support, guys. We are growing like crazy, and I have it all thanks to you. So thank you for always being here and supporting me, watching the videos and whatnot. But today we have something really exciting. Um, not only do we have some McDonald's Happy Meal packs, but I was able to cop two Hidden Fates tins out in the wild. So I'm still hunting SV49. Uh, we really need that shiny Charizard. So I need him for my personal collection. As you can see, I collect Charizards if you're new. Um, so with that being said, let's get into the Happy Meal packs first. Um, I'm really excited to open these. I am hunting for the Charmander, of course, uh, but I will. I really want all the Gen 1 starters. I want to complete the whole set, so I'm going to have to eat a lot of Happy Meals. Speaking of, cheers, McDonald's. Thank you so much. But, so, we have a number two pack here. I've seen these. I think they go one through four, and they come with different things inside, so I haven't opened one of these, so let's check it out. So... We get the the gold here, uh, the Gen 1 starters on the front with the 25th anniversary logo right there, which is really cool. Um, the packs are kind of, they feel like paper instead of plastic, so it's kind of a different feel. Um, but we are hoping for some fire in this pack. You get four cards, one of which being a hollow. Um, the set in itself, it's 25, 25 Pokemon. It's all the starters, um, but... And then there's also a hollow variant of them. So uh, we are, I want to complete the set. So it's going to be challenging, especially with all the craziness going on. I don't know if you guys saw, but there was a case of these that sold for, I think, $1,000 on eBay, which is absolutely insane. But so we get this in here. It looks like a nice little backdrop, which is pretty cool. Um, we'll put that right there so we can give our uh, Pokemon in the packs some backdrop. And then it comes with some stickers, which is really cool. It has all the starters on it. Um, Charmander, of course, my, being my favorite out of all of these. And then you can color if you want. So, um, yeah. Anyways, let's get into it. Um, first pack. We have a couple packs here. So, I've been eating a lot of chicken nuggies. Um, and the, the hit card is on the front. So, if I'm kind of like opening these weird, that's why. I don't want to spoil it. And there is a little pack trick. It's similar to Japanese uh, base set booster boxes. Uh, the hit card is in the front. So we got a Charmander. Nice. A Fennekin. Nice. A Totodile. Totodile is probably my favorite Gen 2 starter. And a Chespin Hollow. All right. I'm not too familiar with, like, Gen 3, 4, and whatnot, um, but I am super pumped to be opening these. These are these have been so hard to find here in Colorado Springs. I got lucky today and found some, so very thankful that I was able to do that. Um, we'll throw Chespin up right here. Give him, give him some. He's chilling on the beach. All right, pack number two comes with the same thing. Now, I did open one of these already, and I got a Squirtle out of it. I was only able to get one pack, so that was super cool. Um, here he is right here. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm hoping that I get a Charmander or at least at least one. Wow, we got another Charmander non-hollow. Okay. Fennekin again. Oshawott. And a Pup Puplio hollow. God, I'm, I these are so cool to me. I wish McDonald's did more of these. But with the way people are being right now, I understand why they don't do a whole lot of collabs with Pokemon. I mean, could you could you imagine if they did how much craziness would go on if they were always having Pokemon cards? It would be nuts. But all right, let's get into pack number 3. 
Nothing to see here. I'll take a I'll take a Bulbasaur or a Pikachu even as well. Um, these are really difficult to open without showing you what the crate what the the chase card is out of the pack. I do think it's cool that you get a guaranteed holo though. All right, so we got a Trico, nice. I do like Trico a lot. Pop Leo, non holo. Chimchar, non holo. Hey, and a Chikorita holo. Heck yeah, and I don't think I showed you guys, but we'll we'll show you this up close. Here's the cool 25th anniversary logo that's gonna make these cards stand out, so they're stamped. Um, and the hollow the hollow foil pattern on these cards is just beautiful in my opinion. Um, I've seen on Reddit and stuff that there are a lot of hollow bleeds, so I don't think we've gotten any yet, but hopefully we get a crazy hit like a Charmander, a Pikachu, Bulbasaur. Or another Squirtle with a hollow bleed. The Squirtle that I have, that one had a hollow bleed on it. So it was really cool looking. Um, all right. Pack number four. Now I don't have a crazy amount. I have I have 11 packs in here. So we have a pretty good shot of getting something good. And I just spoiled that one a little bit. I'm sorry. It is a grass type Pokemon. But we got a Trico again. A Pop Leo, a Rowlet, and a Snivy. All right, so um, we've gotten all different Holofoils so far. So that's really good. Because um, there's 20, like I said, there's 25 cards in the set. And each card has a holo pattern or a Holofoil card. So that means that the set in entirety is 50. At least that we know of. There could be a secret rare in here, which would be cool. Um, but I don't, I don't think that McDonald's did that. So, um, and I just showed this again. Like I said, these are really awkward to open, um, being that the, the hollow is on the front. So we got a Piplup, Sobble. Okay. I like Sobble. Rowlet and a Torchic. Yes. So we are five for five on getting... No duplicates on the hollow. And the centering on some of these is really good, and the centering on others is not so good. So. All right, five packs down, six to go. All right, Pikachu, Bulbasaur, or Charmander. Or Squirtle. I'll take another Squirtle. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have had any luck finding any of these. Uh, I've been looking all week, and I... Ooh, a Pikachu non holo Okay. We like that. Chespin. Torchic. Hey, and another Squirtle. We summoned him. Yes. That's okay. I'll take a duplicate Squirtle. Out of the original Gen, uh, Gen 1 Pokemon, who's your guys' favorite? Squirtle, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and I guess we can count Pikachu, too. Um... I'm obviously going to go with Charmander. And then Squirtle is my second favorite. All right. Pack number seven. These just open, like, I feel like these packs go so quickly. All right. We got a Trico. A Tepig. All right, we haven't pulled this one yet in either hollow or non hollow. Torchic, regular non hollow. Hey, and a Totodile hollow. Yes. I think that this is absolutely insane that we have gotten, we've opened seven packs and we've gotten seven different hollow foils. We're slacking on the fire types though, so hopefully there's a Charmander in here. All right, pack number eight. All right, guys, is this the pack? 
We need that little char boy. All right. Charmander, non hollow. Tepig, non hollow. Mudkip, non hollow. Okay. And a Chimchar. We haven't gotten this one yet either. This is so exciting. I feel like such a kid. All right. Pack number nine. So we got two more after this, guys. Charmander, where are you at? I think this might be the pack. Can we do it? Charmander, you're in this pack. Bulbasaur, non hollow, okay. Fennekin, non hollow. Rowlet, non hollow. And a Cyndaquil, non hollow. I will take this, though, because I really like Cyndaquil, too. You know, I forget all the starter Pokemon. Like, I like, I feel like I like more of them than I think. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two more to go, guys. We'll pull them out right here. All right, Pikachu, Charmander, or Bulbasaur. One of you needs to make an appearance. I'm calling, I'm calling a Pikachu in this pack. If I can open it. Grookey, Squirtle non hollow, Totodile non hollow, and a Tepig non hollow. All right, I guess I guess my uh, Pikachu radar is a little off, guys. I'm sorry, but we are not mad. All right, last pack. Also. Now that you've seen pretty much all the artworks on here, let me know in the comments what your guys' favorite card is of this set. Um, I really like the Cyndaquil and the Squirtle one. I think they're really cool looking. All right, we need one of the starters, Gen 1 starters. I think we can do it. So we've gotten one Gen 1 starter already in Hollow, but we just, we need another one. Pikachu, okay. It's a good start. Chespin, Chimchar. Hey, and a Bulbasaur. Yes! Awesome. All right, so I looks like I need to get quite a few still, so I'm going to keep eating my chicken nuggies. And hope that they don't run out. But, oh, I love this card. This is super cool. I think I might like this one more than the Squirtle. But let's go over these one more time just to see what we got. Out of 11 packs, we got a Bulbasaur. Tepig. Cyndaquil. Chimchar. Totodile, Squirtle, Torchic, Skivvy, Chikorita, Poplio, and Chespin, all hollows. So out of 11 packs, we got 11 different hollows. So I am not mad about that. Uh, that is a good haul right there. So, whew. What a nice. Nice set that McDonald's and Pokemon did, teaming up on this like this. Um, my hat's off to them. They did a good job. But, all right. Let's get in to the Hidden Fates. So we got the Gyarados tin. If only these were still twenty two ninety nine, right? Well, that's I got them for twenty two ninety nine. But if only we could buy them from the resale market for twenty two ninety nine. I feel like these tins are, they definitely have the potential to hit $100, $100 per, 
per sealed tin by the end of the year, but I think they might even touch two. So um, I think it's absolutely insane how desired Hidden Fates is. And I don't know if you guys saw Leonhardt's te or tweet, but I guess the Pokemon company is deciding to um, reprint some sets. So I wonder if Hidden Fates is going to be on that just because of how much in demand it is. So we got the Mewtwo artwork, Shiny Charizard, Zabirds, and Mew. So we'll open Mewtwo first. Hoping for some heat out of this. Can we get SV49? Charmander. Okay, that's a good sign. Matang. All right. And a Lapras. So didn't get the Charizard, but we got a baby shiny. It's always a good day when you pull a baby shiny out of Hidden Fates. Um, can't wait to see all the baby shinies and Shining Fates. It's going to be absolutely insane. But... Not a bad way to start with some first pack magic. I usually save Charizard for last, but I feel like there might be something something spicy in this pack. So we'll open this one up next. I see something. Oh, a Mewtwo GX full art shiny. Yes. I'm not going to lie, though. I totally thought that this was a Charizard. Um just by the border obviously i'm super hopeful um because i've been chasing this card for a very long time um i've probably opened somewhere in the realm of three to four hundred packs of hidden fates i still have not pulled him so my luck for charizard in this set is not very good um but we keep searching because i really want to pull him um and then we got a Butterfree as the rare. I love those Shiny Vaults. So two back-to-back -back Shiny Vault slots right there. That's pretty crazy. I opened a tin the other day that had four white code cards in it. So maybe we will get lucky with this, even though they all have white code cards, but have four big hits out of this. That would be pretty cool. Water Energy and Jesse and James. Okay, so I spoke too soon. <laughs> Ignore me. And if you guys have made it this far in the video, do me a favor, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button somewhere right around down, well, it's really over here. Um, leave a comment, you know, share the channel. I really appreciate all you guys. You're really, really killing it with the all the subs lately. Um, I can't thank you guys enough. You guys are what keep me going. If, if I didn't have you guys, then I wouldn't be able to make this content. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, but let's get into it. Arbok, Blaine's last stand. No, no, Blaine. We are done with your stands. All right, Raichu GX10. Strange that this one doesn't have a GameStop sticker on it. Have any of you guys personally found any Hidden Fates ETBs out there since they dropped uh, last Friday or as, as of this video last Friday? Um, I was able to find a few, um, but there were people waiting for hours for these things. So I gave up at a few, few places just because I didn't have time to stand around and wait for that long. Hidden Fates, Mew artwork on the front. Give us something spicy, Hidden Fates. Come on. Jesse and James and a Noibat. Double banger pack. Heck yeah. Let's go, guys. And Charmeleon in the back. Wow. So that pack definitely made up for the rest of that tin. Um, for really not having much of anything in it. So all in all, Hidden Fates was good to us. 
the McDonald's booster packs were very good to us. We got two starter Gen 1 starters out of it. Um, I just need to hunt down the Charmander and Pikachu now. So that is going to be on my list of things to do this week. Uh, I'm going to eat up more Happy Meals, get my chicken nuggies. Pro tip for all you out there, you can get spicy, spicy chicken nuggies with the Happy Meal. So let's go over a recap real quick. I just showed these. Noibat, Full Art, Jesse James. Full Art, Mewtwo, GX, Shiny, and Matang, Baby, Shiny. So out of, out of eight packs, not bad at all getting three Shinies and a Full Art Trainer. I'm not mad at all. Um, very good hit ratios, but that's why we love Hidden Fates, because the hits are just always popping. But my name's Polkadot, guys. Make sure to check out the link in my description. My next break will be on February 19th. Uh, at 4.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, we'll be doing Single Strike and Rapid Strike Japanese. So it's a little teaser of battle styles. There are limited spots available, so if you want to get in on it, make sure you do before they sell out. Um, make sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, comment, let me know your thoughts on the McDonald's packs. Let me know how, what your luck is on Hidden Fates. But I am out. I will catch you guys on the next one.